what's good welcome back to the channel guys in today's video we're going to be covering queen charge root rider smash inside legends league up in that 5700 trophy range from my man smacks from zika down so we got some sweet replays for you guys today showing you guys how to use this attack and how you guys can be good with this let's get right into the action all right on this first attack we have this box stop base we got double rage spell towers on this base so we were using three sneaky goblins couple of super wall breakers couple coco loons we got these six root riders seven valkyries and it looks like smax is actually changing to a blimp on this one this is an attack where you can bring multiple different options on these siege machines you're not just going to use one siege machine i would definitely use bring a flame flinger bring a blimp bring a siege barracks even bring a log launcher because you just never know what you're going to need so you see right away we're going to push this queen right up into this compartment with a quick funnel use a rage spell on her because you do not want her to go down early um obviously use those rage spells where you need to we're going to have the couple balloons rocket balloon and yeti bomb come right on the town hall compartment take that down we did invest a rage on that which is well worth it so now we're not gonna have to worry about the town hall and we have that overgrowth coming in on that ricochet cannon uh eagle artillery compartment now we're gonna deal with the enemy cc and then we're gonna get them root riders valkyries barbarian king going over here on the right side of the base as we take out those ice golems this is gonna be a nice little funnel we got created by the time that overgrowth becomes uh, untrapped which is literally right now the Queen's gonna be able to turn back around and focus on that multi-target Inferno ricochet cannon area and take that part of the base out while the main troops push up um, Queen's actually wanting to turn back around but doesn't look like she wants to at the same time healers are gonna swap off onto the main army which is gonna be perfect we got the royal champion coming in from the right side of the base up here near the barbarian king now the queen's going to switch back take off that ricochet cannon and the healers are going to switch off to the root riders which is absolutely perfect you definitely want to try to use your main army near the archer queen because if you can get those healers to switch off onto your root riders they're going to live longer be very strong towards that end of the attack and they're going to help you pick up these triples um definitely definitely help you pick up these triples and we still got a couple hero abilities as well you saw the rc ability get popped we were using the haste vial and the hog puppet i believe they are both maxed out they are smacks has those maxed out i wish my hog puppet was maxed out i'm glad that we don't have an equipment in this current event i think it's going to be nice for me to uh push my equ current equipments up and get them maxed out um and be able to focus on that all right on this second base we have this box style base and it looks like um we got the town hall on the outside of the base smacks switch to a flame flinger so it looks like we're going to use that siege machine on this one like i said i would definitely bring three or four options why not i mean i would bring those in every single attack because you just never know what you're going to need on what base um and smacks is a very good attacker so it can be uh flexible on the fly uh when it comes to some of this stuff so you guys do want to check him out his twitch will be in the description below and he streams a couple days a week so definitely go check him out um he does live legend league hits on twitch so we got the queen pushing in to this town hall area gonna take out this barbarian king first with a headhunter another important thing right there the queen also took out the mortar that way the flame flinger wouldn't be attacked by the mortar as well we're going to use the Barbarian King on the other side. Help funnel the Queen. Have a Coco Loon come through. Through that Rage spell. Now Queen's going to take out this Town Hall real quick. Underneath the Rage. And we're going to have a Super Wall Breaker open up this compartment for her. As she gets through these poisons. We're going to be able to push her up through the middle part of this base. And she's going to be able to pick up some great value. Super Wall Breaker opened up a couple walls there. RC is just melting over here inside the Flame linger but she actually stepped out of it king's gonna go off with the phoenix and the queen's gonna continue to step up actually king does get some good value there taking out that single target inferno and then now the queen's gonna have to take out the ice golems 
we have the main army coming over here on the right side of the base got that one overgrowth down now root riders valkyries pushing through the middle of the base gonna use the uh eternal tome healing tome and we got the royal champion on the other side of that overgrowth as it becomes untrapped the royal champion's gonna be able to attack all these defenses inside there queen's gonna uh f finish breaking up a wall and now rejoin the main army and we might see a healer swap here got the yetis coming out of the flame flinger hopefully the healers uh will swap over to some of the main troops got the royal champion ability going off with the haste vial and the hog riders even though they all got stuck inside a tornado trap which is a little unfortunate root riders continue to push through opening up this back side of the base and now you're going to see the healers start to swap here and start healing some other troops as they get destroyed by bombs <laughs> last free spell coming through on that ricochet cannon and scatter shot and we're going to be able to finish off this base for a triple this is not obviously going to be the quickest attack you can't get the troops down a little bit sooner if you want to it's just going to be sloppy it's not going to be as clean uh, but this can definitely pick you up triples time doesn't matter in legends league all that matters is three stars all right on this next base we have this kind of box diamond style um we got some interesting compartments throughout this base it's definitely spread out very well and we also have an invisibility spell tower on top of the town hall we have a poison spell tower down here near the eagle artillery so we're going to start the archer queen down here at six o'clock a couple funneling troops coming through and a balloon to look for any seeking air mines queen's going to push up straight into this eagle artillery compartment and we had the yeti bomb come through we actually missed that a little bit yeti bomb come through with a rage spell that's going to be able to take out that town hall with the yeti mites not a whole lot of value besides that but hey we get down the town hall and we found the tornado trap which is going to be super nice uh, we don't actually push up into the eagle artillery compartment we're going to use the overgrowth to stop those defenses now queen's going to have to deal with the enemy king and the clan castle troops gonna pop a rage for her actually the last rage and we're gonna deal with that while that those defenses are frozen over there we're gonna put down a skeleton trap that way the ricochet cannon is focused on the skeletons and not the archer queen queen's gonna push up with the main army now we're gonna get a healer swap which is gonna be nice for later on in the attack these root riders are gonna be very strong and healthy barbarian king actually is going to go into this eagle artillery compartment by himself and that's going to be awesome value because once that king gauntlet and rage vial go off that king is going to pick up some great value over here as you see going to take out that ricochet cannon take out the enemy queen enemy queen's going to get two shot ricochet cannon's going to go down and king's going to pick up some incredible value on his way out um then the phoenix is going to pop as well royal champion joins the main army up here at the top part of the base we still have a lot of root riders alive so i got healers alive pushing on these root riders and now we're going to see that royal champion ability here shortly with the haste vial and the hog puppet going off and king actually gets that other scatter shot as well the only main thing we still have to worry about is that single target inferno and the monolith in the middle of the base a monolith can be uh, extremely extremely strong you see the single target infernal uh, actually targets the RC there we're gonna pop the haste vial and hog puppet the good thing about the hog puppet is she goes invisible for like a quarter of a second where she is no longer targeted and the hogs will be targeted or the uh, hog riders will be targeted and we're gonna be able to take out that monolith because of the hog rider puppet and finish off the triple all right, on this fourth and final triple, we're going to show you from Smacks. We have this centralized town hall base. We have a poison spell tower and an invisibility spell tower in the middle part of this base. We got two single target infernos up top with ricochet cannons. Some interesting compartments. Got the classic royal champion archer queen with the scatter shots. So on this one, we're going to use a flame flinger as well. Start that over on the right side of the base. Going to start the barbarian king down here at the six o'clock part of the base super wall breaker into that eagle artillery compartment and this is just going to get some nice funneling i'm assuming we're going to put the queen down there as well that way you could deal with the cc 
and all these expos at once so queen's gonna come through coco loon and healers are coming down as well and queen's gonna push up into this part of the base very quickly with a rage spell gonna drop that skeleton spell very important there so some of these expos don't hit the queen as much but queen our expos are obviously targeting the king still and the phoenix which is very helpful and now the queen is going to push up with another rage spell take out these expos and we got a poison down for the ice golems and a freeze as well keep this queen healthy keep the funnel going now we got the flame flinger taking out the scatter shot over here and the main army starting right down the middle with these root riders and the valkyries with the grand warden overgrowth on the left side of the base so these troops keep pushing up queen's still of course going to step over to the left and target that mortar <laughs> and the valkyries all split on smacks so now we got the grand warden ability going off invisibility spell tower stops those root riders momentarily um, and then they're going to turn back and target that town hall we're going to get that freeze down on the town hall and the monolith make sure that queen stays a little bit healthier and we got the royal champion coming in at the top side of the base we have lost all of our valkyries because they actually walked to the outside of the base unfortunately but we still got all the root riders in the middle and they're going to take out that spell tower and then with the help of the queen we're going to be able to take out the monolith as well um royal champions getting caught up on the barbarian king got a couple headhunters coming in to help her with that haste file hog rider puppet's gonna go off and we're gonna pick up a little bit of value here taking out that single target inferno which is gonna be huge last root riders helping the queen get through this back side of the base so this is gonna be a heavy queen charge one obviously hog riders are gonna take out that ricochet cannon which is gonna be huge value Clean up troops are down yetis are out of the flame flinger at this point and the queen is going to end up picking up this triple so on these centralized town hall bases very tricky you just got to be methodical and come up with a great game plan on this one and smacks had a great game plan queen was the mvp on that attack picking up a ton of value all right guys that's going to do it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed the content as always i appreciate you guys stopping in on an everyday basis and supporting the channel Queen charge root riders are still very strong as smacks showed using this attack up in that 57 to 5800 trophy range in legends league. We'll catch you next time.